The editorial in today's Barbados leading newspaper reads, Help Guyana Before Late. The nation newspaper has the widest readership in Barbados and is a sister newspaper to the Trinidad Express. The editorial touches on the political stalemate and constitutional complications that Guyana now faces. The editorial in the newspaper says, The situation in Georgetown is tense. The old boogeyman of race is very evident in that nation, and it will pit the two parties, the coalition, predominantly of afro guyanese against the indo guyanese People's Progressive Party Civic. In 2016, at Guyana's Jubilee celebration, then Barbados Prime Minister Frondel Stewart received Guyana's highest honor, the Order of Roraima, from President David Granger. Several thousand Guyanese reside in Barbados, and there are also second and third generation Bajans born to Guyanese parentage. Several Guyanese work for the nation newspaper. The newspaper said, with projections, Guyana could earn as much as 15 billion US dollars a year by 2025, and such a windfall could transform the lives of the 750,000 citizens. The Nation newspaper went on to say that the next election will see a bitterly fought campaign and the aftermath froth with animosity. Guyana has entered uncharted political territory following the December 21, 2018 No Confidence motion and the subsequent court rulings. The situation requires Barbados and Guyana's fellow Caribbean community members to be more than bystanders. The editorial noted that the regional leaders are obligated to send a delegation to Georgetown to meet with the leaders of the rival political parties to get their commitment to a fair and peaceful electoral process. The editorial concluded by noting, it is unlikely that the two major parties left alone will find an amiable and lasting settlement to this political impasse. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey.